So always a question that kind of comes up to me from my uh, circle of people, and I think anybody really interested in cooking and learning some basic techniques is just sort of how to prepare and chop vegetables. Uh, in a lot of videos, I like to have them sort of pre-diced just so I don't have to worry about the uh, timing that it takes. But this is a very simple uh, tutorial of how to do what we call a mirepoix, which is celery, carrot, onion. It's the uh, French trinity. It goes into pretty much all stock sauces, and etc. Of course, you can use it for whatever you'd like. Just, uh, again, just simple ways to sort of prepare these. So we're gonna start with our carrot. Obviously, we want to peel the carrot. We never peel onto our cutting board. Grit, dirt, etc. things you don't necessarily want. We don't peel over a trash can either because if you drop the carrot, it falls in the trash can. If I drop it here, it falls on my plate. So this is just a way of kind of working nice and clean. Just get yourself any vegetable peel you're comfortable with. It doesn't really matter which kind, just whatever works for you. My Rachel Ray equivalent of the trash bowl. I have a trash plate. This is uh, the remix. Always uh, with your steel, before and after. A couple swipes on the side of the blade. If you're not sure what angle to put your blade at, you can always research it. So take the top, bottom off. We're gonna cut the carrot into manageable sizes. And then here we're going to sort of square off the carrot roughly. Now these scraps right here can certainly be eaten. They can be used in a, in a stock or anything like that. So certainly not a uh, waste by any stretch. I'm just looking for a nice rough block shape. And then from there, just cutting that into planks. As such. So from here, you can cut nice large strips. You'll notice that my fingers are clawed backwards. The knife is up against my knuckle, and I'm using a rocking motion. And then again, from there, we just line everything up nicely. Everybody sort of at the same point. And now we can just line those up. So there we have just diced carrots. Next, we're taking our celery. We wanna take this bottom portion off, snap the top back, kind of peel backwards. And we're going to actually use a peeler we want to get these fibers of the celery off. If you're not sure what I mean when I say fibers, if you ever took a piece of celery and kind of bit into it, it sort of had that string-like sensation in your mouth, that is the fibers of the celery. They're not very pleasant to chew, so if you were making a stock or something, I certainly wouldn't you know, say that you need to take that off, but anytime you're cooking with it, it's nice just to sort of get that fiber removed. Uh, from the celery. So same as before with the carrot, we cut into manageable pieces. I say we're going to cut this guy in half. We'll cut that guy in half. A little brown bit right here we'll get rid of. And then from there, we're just going to cut that again, just like the carrot. Just taking more time.
course, you can always put these vegetables in a food processor to, to sort of speed things up. But this is always a, a very foundation and basic skill to have, especially if you're trying to cook to entertain. Not only do these cook at the same temp uh, at the same time, they also look nicely in the, in the in the final product. So you actually have a built-in garnish to your food. Notice that they're roughly the same size, and then the world uh, the world's favorite, the onion. Top off, bottom almost off. So what I've done is I'm taking off the top portion of this, all these dirty little bits. There's still a little knob of the bottom in the center there, and that's gonna come very important. I'm gonna straight down. We're gonna peel off the onion skin. This little layer right here, this is a, a thing I've always seen people sort of uh, omit to take off. This, if it looks like paper, feels like paper, it is paper. So just take that off. If half of it looks like this and the other half doesn't, take it off. This layer right here is very tough and it will not cook down. So you should have two beautiful and nice onion halves. So there are two ways to do this. One way, I mean this size maybe I'll do two slices into this. With the blade slightly angled downward, we make a few slices into that, and then we come Notice so I'm not going all the way through the back of the onion. And then I'm just going to bring it back over here. This is one way of doing the onion. You can certainly sort of slice up at the, at the butt end there. You don't waste anything. Or, my personal preferred method is the onion has lines going this way, and if you look here, the lines all sort of port or point, excuse me, to the center. So what I'll do is, at an angle, not going to the back of the onion, following these lines. Of course, you can make the slices thinner or wider apart, just sort of depends on how big you want the dice. And the only real scary part, as it were, would be coming on this side. I'm using the top of my finger to sort of guide the knife in, continuing that angle. So all the slices should be pointing roughly to the center. And these are our diced onions. And again, these are just uh, a few ways you can do it. You can always use a food processor, rubber cooper, whatever you've got to sort of dice these up nicely. You can always sort of mash them if you need to. But in terms of just generic sauce making, you can change the size of these obviously, but the technique sort of remains the same. So these are just generic ways to cut the mirepoix onion, celery, and carrot.